same standing ovation as she walked on stage to speak at UB's Alumni Arena. Mrs. Clinton focused much of her address on the need for greater cooperation and less partisanship in American government. Now, recently in Washington, we've seen what happens when politicians choose scorched earth over common ground. At one point, a man got up and began shouting, Benghazi, you let them die. Clinton's response drew more cheers from the crowd. We have to be willing to come together as citizens to focus on the kind of future we want, which doesn't include yelling, it includes sitting down and talking with one another. Not surprisingly, the most asked question during the Q&A session was whether Clinton will seek the nation's top leadership position. And I'm excited about hearing her possibly say something about her presidential run. Women know how to get along, how to talk to each other, how to compromise, and how to move our country forward. We are ready for a woman. UB Vice President for Student Affairs Dennis Black tried asking it a different way. Perhaps you could describe for us what the ideal candidate for the presidency would look like <laughs> in three years. I'm not as interested in what the candidate looks like as what the candidate stands for. I'm trying to, insofar as it is possible, kind of isolate the extreme voices and allow the vast majority of Americans' voices uh, to be heard. And